Hi, my name is Will Carpenter. Welcome to American Cool Television. Today's words definition, an imaginary remote paradise, utopia, or nirvana on earth. Synonyms, Tibetan land of eternal youth. Etymology, the lost horizon. And this was a book written by James Hilton in 1933. And this word is in that story. And if you thought Shangri-La, why well, you'd be right. Well, word alchemy says that this word should take us to Shangri-La. So let's see if we can make it happen. Well, this looks like land because this means there. So we're going to say here's the land. We found the land. Here's this S. Let's go for sun. And let's take this H and we can turn it in to X and we're going to call this the quintessence and it just so happens today that our modern scientists say that everything is made of sun substance therefore the quintessence of old fire ice air and earth everything's made of sun substance so we're going to say all in the five essences of the sun and when we're talking about I here, I on the land is governed and regulated in the natural order. So folks, are we living in Shangri-La or not? And if we're not, how come? How come we don't live in eternal youth? Well, maybe it's because we're not doing it right. So perhaps we need to realign in sun light.